Hey everyone, welcome back to Figma Buzz. Today I'm going to show you a super useful skill that's essential for streamlining your workflow in Figma, how to create and organize assets. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make your own reusable components, like buttons, so you can work faster and keep your designs neat and consistent every time. If you've ever wondered how the pros build those super tidy, efficient design systems, this is where it all starts. Ready? Let's jump in. So here's the big thing to remember. In Figma, anytime you create a component, you're actually adding a reusable asset to your toolkit. Assets are like your own set of creative building blocks, always ready to go whenever you start a new project. That saves tons of time and keeps everything looking consistent. All right, let's create a classic example, a button asset. First, we'll start by making the foundation. Go ahead and select the frame tool. If you're not sure where to find it, look for that little blue rectangle in the toolbar, or just hit the F key for a shortcut. Draw out your frame to the size you want your button to be. Don't stress about getting it perfect on the first try, you can easily resize it later. I like to think of this frame as the blank piece of wood before you cut and sand it into a custom sign. This is your button's starting shape. Next, let's add some text. Click on the text tool as that T icon up top or just press T on your keyboard. Click inside the frame you just made and type the word button. This is just a placeholder, but it helps you see exactly how things will look. Take a second to align your text inside your frame, make sure it's centered both vertically and horizontally. Visual balance is key here so your button looks polished. Now feel free to tweak the styling a bit. Maybe you want to change the background color of your frame, adjust the corner radius to make it more rounded, or pick a font that matches your design style. Think of this step as decorating, this is where you really make the button feel like it belongs in the rest of your project. Okay, here comes the magic. With both your frame and text selected, press Ctrl plus Alt plus K on your keyboard. This shortcut instantly turns your work into a component. What does that mean? Well, components are like rubber stamps. You can use them over and over, but update them all at once if you ever need to make a change. This is huge for keeping your designs consistent. Plus, once it's a component, Figma will automatically add it to your asset panel. Let's check that out. Look over on the left side of your screen and click on the Assets tab. There you'll see your brand new button sitting among your other components, ready to be dragged right into any future project. And that's all there is to it. Creating assets in Figma is all about working smarter, not harder. Don't worry if your first button isn't perfect. You can always adjust and refine it as you get more comfortable. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, or if you want to see more Figma tips and tricks, just drop a line, I'd love to help and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy designing.